Dave. He's in Poughkeepsie, New York. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian, Chris, and Mark. Hello, Dave. Uh, I'm kind of a little uh, upset with you guys. Uh, last night, you guys uh, made fun of me. After When you guys hung up with me after last night, you guys made fun of me. And you I didn't call know last why. night? Yes, I did. I don't recall that, but okay. Do you recall that, Mark? You I recall that. Mark I says call, he doesn't I know. called last night. I, I called last night saying, "Oh, I had a job uh, doing telemarketing. It starts next week." And right okay. after, I, right, right after you got, right after you guys had hung up with me, you guys started to make fun of me. I don't appreciate. What that. did we say to make you fun of you? Know, yeah, can you repeat you the jokes? Know. I I wasn't here, and I want <laughs> in on this right now. You guys know full well that I have Asperger's and I'm bipolar. Now, and you guys went and said, oh, I get money from the city. Or, you, you, you guys nope, totally nope, I didn't say that. Me. Yes, yes, Please? yes, you did. Yes, really, you did. I did? I think you should go back and listen. Ian attends to, uh, to, to do this sort of thing, not I. I said that I had heard you were living in uh, some sort of welfare housing. Is that not true? It's not. It is not welfare housing. What is it? I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's really none of your business. Isn't it like, like some sort of guys, home for abused women or something like that? No, it's, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it is not. And see, see there, there you go again. You're laughing. You are, you guys, I'm that, laughing. That, that's, that's, uh, my name that, is Chris. I'm laughing you have at a good you. Time. Chris you can't well. You guys are making fun of me. Yes, yes. Look, I, I don't know exactly what happened last night, but I'm a big fan of making fun of people, Dave. And, and it sounds Why? to me Why? because it's Why? enjoyable, because I, I enjoy no, laughing about, at other people's expense. Bernard, what if somebody makes fun of you? So people make fun of Ian all the time. First of all, you were talking with Chris Cantwell, not Ian. I'm yeah, over here. I though. make I make fun of Ian, right? You know, and I'm friends with Ian, right? And uh, I and I should do more of it, frankly. And and <laughs> and Ian has uh, you know talked about me and and laughed about me. And this is you know this is good wholesome entertainment for the whole family. Uh, and, oh, and, oh, oh, so, so you so you're saying that it's entertainment to make fun of people? Yeah, that is completely wrong. Have completely you ever listened to not. Opie and Anthony? How, how, no, I, I Howard don't Stern, and I any comedian ever? Stern. Have you ever been to any comedy show in the history of laughing? Yeah, I mean, you know, no, Howard I Stern haven't. hired Stuttering John, mm -hmm. and I suspect I he did it. I could care less about Howard well, Stern. I could care less about hey, Dave, Stuttering John. Uh, that's not true, Dave. Maybe you're kind of like our Stuttering John. Yeah, you're like a character on the show. You call in here all the time, right? Yeah. So like you're like part of the show now, okay? So you you call into the show pretty regular basis, right? I've only, I've only been on the show for what three or four weeks now, mm -hmm. and like I'm already familiar with Dave from Poughkeepsie, right? And and I'm sure the listeners know who you are, which is why they're te Ian, they're telling Ian stuff about you, right? So I mean, you're like you're like a public figure now, and now you get made fun of, and that's how it works. You should see my YouTube comments, the nasty, terrible things that people say about me, and that's what I open myself up. To by putting myself out well, why there. Why do you do it? Why, why do you why do you make fun of people? Why? For the same reason other people make fun of people because it's fun. It's called making fun. No, <laughs> We're making fun, right? Now this is actually something with how, which how I disagree fun? with Chris. Um, how, how, how is it fun to make somebody make make fun of somebody who has Asperger's or bipolar or, or let's say they're a slow learner or that kind of stuff? How is how is that fun making fun of somebody else? I, I think that it's fun because they're easy targets, but frankly, right? So like when you're making fun oh, of so, someone oh, oh, wait, who wait, has wait, a problem. Wait, wait. So you're saying because it's, because somebody said it's an e because you just said it's an easy target to yes. go and make fun of poke somebody because they have, they have some, they, because they have some kind of disability that you think that that is fun because because it's an easy target for you. Yes, that's that exactly totally the words that just came Dave, out of my mouth. Let me ask you this. Is it okay that to make totally fun of up. Dave? Is it okay to make fun of somebody who doesn't have any problems at all? <laughs> Come again? Is it okay to make fun of somebody who doesn't have any problems at all? No, it's not. Okay, so at no point can you make can you tell jokes that aren't puns, right? Like all jokes, uh, most jokes have some are at the expense of someone, right? A lot of them, and, are, yeah. and most. I'm just saying most. Yeah. Many jokes are at the expense of someone. I'm not defending this. I'm just asking questions, and I think people need to ask themselves this question because it's really sort of difficult. Do you want to suck the joy out of life by saying, nope, can't make fun of anybody, can't make fun of people you agree with, can't make fun of people you disagree with, you can't fake, make fun of anybody, somebody might not like it. It doesn't really matter whether they're, uh, you know, they have some diagnosed why, condition Why would you not. want to go around making fun of people? Why? Why would you I want to go around I didn't ask you that question. I said, do you want to make it so that no one can make fun of anyone anymore? 
Correct, yes. Well, <laughs> that, that life is going happen. to suck. <laughs> All right, because Dave, hang on a second, man. To go around, make fun of you. Dave, hang on. I, I want to actually agree uh, with, with Dave on this. I don't think it's a good practice to make fun of people who have problems they can't help. You know, it's... It's we pretty all have low problems. to go around and make fun of crippled people. I mean, that's pretty low. Now, Chris, you may stoop that low. I'm, I'm laughing at it just thinking right. about it, like I making mean, fun of crippled people. It just mean, sounds I, like I, so I, much I, fun. I have to admit, on, let me ask you, let me ask you, let's say somebody was in a wheelchair. Would you make fun of them? Yes. Only if it's funny. I would. <laughs> Why? 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 I answer, for the same reason I answered you before. It's called making fun. We're creating fun, <laughs> oh, 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 Dave. So, so, this so is the thing with Dave. Wheelchair, you would, so if somebody, was in a, if somebody was in a wheelchair, you would make fun of them. Yeah, exactly. I'll make fun of people. I'll Why? make fun of people because of race and gender and sexuality and wheelchairs Chris, oh, and true. haircuts. I don't care. He I'm is, here to have fun. I'm enjoying myself and ent entertaining an audience. It's what we're here to do. This is definitely an equal oh, opportunity oh, oh, so offender. You, you, There's you, no you doubt. Because you... You you said yeah, because, because oh, oh I'm gonna make fun of somebody because or, because it sounds to me that you are a racist. Uh, oh oh so let's just throw <laughs> let's just throw that epithet out All there. Right. Hang on, Dave. I want to put you on hold here for just a moment. I I just uh, want to come back down to what what I was saying a moment ago, and that is that you know I I feel some level of uh, difficulty with this particular issue. I mean, I like a good joke. There's no doubt about it. And I you know there was a game that I remember playing back in the '90s on the on BBSs, which were kind of the predecessor. To to the internet, yeah. they had these things they called door games. You could go in and play the way where it was basically like a text game where they tell you, you know, there's this bad guy on the screen and you have to attack them and things like that. Legend of the Red Dragon uh, trade wars. One. Yeah, um, but one of them was called Cripple Smash. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. See, it's funny. It is funny. I mean, the game is horrible. I mean, the whole purpose of the game is that instead of dragons and you know these elves and things like that, you're attacking people with cripples. And you know well, leprosy. People don't have cripples. Well, people who are crippled, okay. <laughs> and it's like a speech horrible. I, you know, I wouldn't it's mind a, owning some cripples. <laughs> it's a horrible game, but it's also horribly funny. And I mean, so I'm, you know, torn with that. But I that, don't, I, don't, you know, I'm not you, Chris. I don't do this. I don't make go out of my way to make fun of people. But you're at the not same even time, funny. <laughs> but at the same time, when you know, when you have a relationship, I think when you have a relationship with somebody, especially males, seem to do this a lot. Yeah. Uh, there's there's that sort of give and take that uh, that goes on. I try to stay away from making fun of other people and in the case of dave we were just talking about what i was just talking about what i believed about him i thought i had heard that he was living in some sort of a welfare based or government paid for uh housing complex he's being very reticent with telling us the truth You're about right. the housing complex in which he lives and there are some things that are just you know observable obviously about you dave you do have a tendency to repeat yourself and while it sometimes it can be uh, annoying it can also be kind of funny so uh, and some of your videos are very very funny whether you intentionally were being funny or not on your YouTube channel, and, Hudson and, Valley and see, Guy there, Number One. There, there, there you go again. You 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 put me on hold so that I, I couldn't respond to any, any of your uh, any of your questions. Well, that's or because whatever. we've had you, you on for the majority of the segment, and you just keep you know we we we're, it was it was tough to have a full conversation to get a full statement out. So go ahead. Now you have a chance to respond. And, and you said, oh, I live in some kind of a you know government, whatever, blah blah this, blah blah. You know nothing about where I live, and it's really none of your business where I live, okay? Because it's it's none of your concern. Well, I've I watched your YouTube you videos said, where there are uh, where you're at your house showing video footage out your window of people throwing things on the street from the apartment above you. I mean, it's it's public knowledge, sort of where yeah, you, you live. let people know. Plus, you called in specifically. I don't know when you called in, but it was a couple days ago you called in asking us questions about whether or not you should get a certain job and your your current financial status is an important aspect of that question if you've got 10 million dollars and you want to, to know whether i think you should get an eight dollar an hour job the answer is no you shouldn't if you have nothing and you're living in some kind of welfare housing the answer is yes you should right away all right dave thanks for the call tonight there you go billy listening in southern utah to lrn.fm hey billy Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Uh, I just wanted to respond to Dave, who I believe that was his name, that called and was a little angry about uh, getting made fun of. This is always why Dave and, in New York calls the show. He's been uh, being <laughs> made fun of for years. Uh, he's gone to different – just give you a little – before you respond, just give you a little background on who Dave is. Uh, he's he's called this show for oh, what like close to a year now. It seems like it's been More a while than that. since we've had him on. Um, and prior to this, he had uh, encountered a number of people in his Poughkeepsie area on various different sort of forums on the internet that are 
area related if you will like craigslist i guess you can talk on there apparently uh there's some other forum you know a couple different forums anyway people have been hounding him for years and calling him names and and making fun of him and he's very upset and has been about it for quite a long time anyway go ahead with your response well i mean i became disabled at age 18 in the navy (laughs) i'm I'm 35 now exactly you know you gotta laugh about it you gotta, you gotta be. If you can't laugh and make fun of it and have some fun with it, then all you can do is be upset and be unhappy. Absolutely. I, you know, I mean, really, this is. I mean, I went from being a high school athlete to being disabled. I thought I'd do a career in the Navy. Now I'm a little podunk farmer. Uh, you know, you gotta have some fun with it. You gotta lighten up uh, because uh, otherwise, you're just gonna be miserable. Exactly, and I and I think I, that when you when when you can make light of something, I mean, you really you take the power away from it, right? I mean, sure. you, know, you know, if there's if there's exactly. a stigma, if, you, there, if there's a stigma attached to something, and you can make a joke about it, and people can laugh about it, all of a sudden, this is not something that we all have to commiserate about. And I and I think that this is lost on a lot of things. I mean, you, it, it, this happens this runs rampant in the comedy industry. We talked not so long ago about. Anthony Cumia getting fired from Sirius XM over over like racial comments on Twitter. I mean, like race is this huge divisive issue in the country, and and I think that when somebody can make a joke out of something and then audience laughs about it, even if they feel a little guilty about the laugh, it's almost better that way. It, it takes it takes the power out of it, and it's and not that it not to diminish you know what what you went through. I'm really sorry that you know this. Uh, I'm not sorry. I don't know you, but I'm just saying like you I, can I, empathize. I mean, it's unfortunate. It. I mean, it's unfortunate that you're in this position. Of Obviously, but yeah, when we if we can make light of things, this makes it easier to deal with. I would think. Yeah, it does. It makes it a lot. I mean, I've been in a wheel. I spent eighteen months straight in a wheelchair, and I've been in uh, in and out of wheelchairs off and on, you know, sporadically. I have to keep crutches with me, you know, in case I fall or things like that. That's just been part of my life, my entire adult life. You know, if you can't make light of it, if you can't just be like, well, hey, this is the hand I've been dealt, and Go on with it, and get if you're going to get all upset, your life's just going to be more miserable than it needs to be. Tell us your best cripple joke. You're doing yeah. yourself. What tells your best cripple joke? Um, well, I was in uh, an auto parts store not long ago. I can't say I have a best cripple joke, but I mean the guy, you know, was looking at me funny. I was buying an in tank fuel pump for a car, you know, and I'm on crutches, and this guy's like, "Well, how are you going to do this?" You know, how can, how can you replace this? Because it's under the car. you got to pull the fuel tank out. Mm-hmm. And, I, you know, my response was, you know, well, anybody can fall. All I got to do is get <laughs> on the ground, and then I can get the tank out. <laughs> anybody can fall. You know. I can handle this falling it. thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the falling thing, you know, it, it's so what? Yeah, it, you, you think I have trouble and, getting on hey, the ground? <laughs> um, yeah, the getting back up, that can be a lot more challenging yeah. at times. Right. right. You just you get know, a spot. Yeah. Hey, Billy, thanks for calling. Having yeah. a good sense of humor about uh, the issue that you face. And I appreciate your call and the thoughts tonight. You know, somebody like Dave in New York would not be uh, someone who could handle the Colbert report coming and doing a report on him. I mean, the Colbert report, you were here for this, Chris. Yeah. It was actually right after you moved. Did they ever uh, air that? No, it hasn't aired yet. So it's probably one of those things they're still working on. I know they said they were taking like a month off pretty much immediately after shooting that. So they said it could be like another month at least before it goes through post-production and gets on the air. But anyway, Colbert Report came to Keene, New Hampshire to do a report on the Robin Hooding slash chalking thing. Actually, they were originally coming here because of the Robin Hooding thing. And then when they got here, I informed them about what was going on with the ridiculous chalking war that was going on here in Keene at that time. I don't know what its current status is. I haven't heard much about the, uh, the war on chalk. But uh, they were, of course, very interested in that as well because it's ridiculous and it's easy to make fun of this stuff. Right. And uh, it's likely that uh, we're going to be made fun of. Chris, you were interviewed for this particular series. Or yeah, this, and they this went package. into some things that had nothing to do with Chalk or Robin Hood on that. And <laughs> and, uh, and I was interviewed and, uh, and, you know, they brought silly props for us to play with and make us look even more ridiculous. So right. I fully, you know, I'm expecting to be skewered and I'm hoping they're going to be skewering the city of Keene as well. So it should be a lot of fun once that finally hits. Yeah, it had, it had seemed to me that they had been uh, either reading or in contact with Stop Free Keene. And I uh-huh, imagine yeah. that the Colbert Report could do, could 
do wonders for those people as well because I you've got some interesting characters involved in that oh, crew. Yeah. <laughs> so I fully expect for all sides to be made fun of, and that's part of the fun of doing it. You yeah, know? I you know I and I said to, what I said one of the things I said to Dave is like just go look at like my YouTube comments. Like people will call me fat mother effer, and you know all these look I get. Um, uh, spat upon on the on the internet, you know, all the time. YouTube people, comments are the worst. They they are some of the most insensitive people in the world. I think it's hysterical. Like even to just go read the comments. Like I I air my show live on YouTube before it goes out on the RSS feed and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And like I go and look at that afterwards. And like and it's and it's funny to me because they say nasty things about a comment that you made in real time, and then you go back and you all you see is the nasty comment. Yeah, and you realize you know exactly what they were talking about. Sometimes just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's I I think it's hysterical. Hysterical. And like when people are making fun of me on the internet, I laugh about it, you know, mm. and it's not, look, I'm not, I don't, I'm not uh, 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 diagnosed with some sort of illness, you know, I'm not. I'm sure you could get diagnosed though. Mm-hmm. This is the point yeah. I was trying to make today. defiance is, is, disorder. Right, he, that's what you've got, my friend. I'm uh, pretty sure uh, Chris would probably. I probably fall in there too. But I mean, Dave was saying essentially, don't make fun of people who've got problems. Here's a little bit of news flash for you, buddy. Everybody's Everybody got on them. the whole planet's got a problem. Yep. And as soon as you start, <laughs> as soon as you start saying, "Oh well, we can't pick on him for this or this for that," or the, then you're just talking about everybody at that point because everybody's got a problem. I've got big ears. Uh, Cantwell's, uh, you know, pudgy. Ian, you're not funny. <laughs> the big ears was definitely something I dealt with uh, as a kid as well. Uh, so your calls and thoughts are welcome. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I was the smelly kid in school. Really? really? I was, yeah. That's uh, unfortunate. Yeah. I hit, I hit uh, puberty like before the other kids, so and like my armpits, and they about... didn't explain this to me. And, like, your parents didn't explain to you Well, deodorant? When my parents, when I was leaving the house in the morning, I smelled fine, right? I took a oh, shower to leave for no. house, and then I go to school, and they're like, they're, they called me Burrito Boy, and they <laughs> made fun of me. You know, all throughout elementary school, and it followed me into junior high, and it was like, no, I figured this out. Stop calling me these names. You know, yeah. now I smell like you know speed stick or whatever I was wearing. You know, and but no, I still had to be burrito boy until I started punching people in the face, and and then people stopped <laughs> making fun of me, and then they started making fun of me for other reasons. So in the past, then uh, you didn't like being made fun of. I did not enjoy it myself. No. When did but- you develop the the, the thick skin for that? I mean, because it, it is something that I think takes some practice. You, you, well, I mean, like I said, I mean, I was the smelly kid in school. You get used to it after mm-hmm. some period of time. And then, you know, and then... Uh, yeah, but you started attacking people over, you said. So well, you obviously weren't yes. used to it. Um, that was... If my, yeah, uh, that wasn't over like the the smelly kid thing. They they were making fun of oh, me. Okay. They were making fun of me for going down on a girl, if you can believe that, in seventh grade. So they were jealous. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 